Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, during my drive here to FIU, a memory popped up. And it's a very vivid memory, and it's a very important one in my life. See, as I was driving, I started remembering about my very first car. We all remember our first car. It was either a godsend and the best car in the world, or a monstrosity that you hated with every fiber of your being. In my case, it was a little bit of both. You see, my very first car was given to be my, my grandfather, and it was a Ford Thunderbird 1988. Think about that for a second. Ford cars are already known to break down every second of the day, and this car's from 1988. The amount of times that I broke down on the side of the road, needless to say, it was a fun experience. But the memory that popped up was my very first long trip with my Ford Thunderbird. Now, let's put this in perspective. I'm an 18 year old inexperienced driver and for me at the time, a long trip is 30 plus minutes. Because when you're 18 years old, just started driving and have no money for gas, you go from Hialeah to Hialeah Gardens and maybe Miami Lakes. So for me to drive to Pembroke Grinds, Broward County, out of Miami Dade, where there's actually good drivers, it was a new experience. So I get in my car for this 30 plus minute drive, drive all the way down to Broward, or up to Broward, go into an office. You see, I was in this office because I wanted money. It was a scholarship office. I was there to turn in my pocket, hoping Please give me some money so that I go to FIU and don't cry because I have no money. I walk into the office with a big smile on it, and the office has been empty for weeks. I lower my head now, but back then I was just mad. You mean to tell me I drove 30 plus minutes, which by the way was a long drive for me, just to show up to an empty office when I could have been playing Xbox or playing with my friends. I was hot. My face was red. I was seething. It's like, okay, okay. I guess I'll just go back home. Walk out of the office, and it's raining on me. Of course it'd be raining. Of course. It's, it's just, why wouldn't it not be raining on that? But there's my saving grace, my, my beautiful Ford Thunderbird. Because you see, this Ford Thunderbird, it didn't matter if you were going 80 miles an hour, it didn't matter if you were going 5 miles an hour. When you turn that baby on, oh, you're bored. You just turn it on. <clears throat> of course, as an 18 year old, that adrenaline pumping, I would race down highways going 75, 85, as fast as I could go, because it would shake. I would drift corners. When an 18 year old with a big muscle car would do. But it was raining, so I realized, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna race today, not today. Get in my car, and I start driving down Sheriff. But in the back of my mind, I'm still mad. I can't believe I just wasted my time driving to this office. I can't believe it. As I approached the turn to get on the ramp, that's when everything fell apart. I was just trapped. You know all those strips I mentioned that I made with that better bird? Well, the wheels were worn out. But as I went to make that left turn, like any other left turn I've ever made, I started sliding. And in my mind, what the hell is going on? My car slides off the road, straight into a pole. Oh, just hits my windshield, hits my roof, goes straight clean through it into a ditch. That's what happens when you're distracted. That's what happens when you don't focus on the road that's ahead of you. With anything in life, whether it's driving, whether it's your career goals, whether it's any goal that you have, you need to focus ahead of you. You can't be distracted by what happened in the past. 
can't be distracted by what might happen. You have to stay focused. Because the second you take your focus off, you're going to hit that hole. You're going to crack down. And it's going to hurt. I'm still traumatized to this day when it rains. It took a hole in my non existent 18 year old wallet. But I learned something from it. And that's what you have to remember. Don't get distracted. Focus on your goals. But if it does happen, and if you do fall into that ditch, remember how it happened. Remember the mistakes you made. Remember what you can fix, what you can avoid, and what you need to do to make sure that next time you stay focused on that road, focused on that goal, so you can achieve what you want to achieve. That way, you'll never hit that pole again. And I hope you'll never have to hit that pole.